Oh, fuck. Why can shit never just be killed for me, bro? Jesus Christ, man. I'm stressed. Y'all, this shit is so bubbly. This is more bubbly than soda. And this is flavored water. But it's fizzed to the damn heavens, bro. I'm gonna get nice and cozy because today's video is definitely going to be long as hell. So, get a snack, get a drink, get some water. I want to take like a couple minutes to talk about some updates that is going on. I am starting a new job next week. I can't wait. However, because I am keeping two jobs for right now, I know I'm gonna be exhausted as hell. Um, I know my, my videos lately have been fairly consistent <laughs> this is so so funny see the day that i was recording this video i was actually still fairly consistent that's why i said that but this shit does not correlate to today goddamn bro this video is so old i recorded this thing in uh september august i think September, yeah, September, August, September. Yeah, that's, that's funny. That's funny, bro. Wow. While I'm already on this bitch talking about shit, I feel like I should mention, for some reason, when Premiere Pro updated, like, there was a full-on Adobe update, I think, and I have automatic updates on. So, my shit updated, and you want to know what happened to all of my fucking videos that was in the middle of editing, bitch? They all got fucking deleted. Except for one, which was the Halloween video, so, <laughs> girl, I would have had a mental breakdown if I had to edit that shit again, but I do have plenty of videos on the way. I just have to re-edit them hoes. I was almost done with majority of them too, bro. I'm so fucking upset, but yeah, this is unfortunately one of the videos I've had to re-edit, so that's why this shit came out so late, or it's one of the, one of the many reasons why it's so late. Uh, yeah, I've been hella busy with work is shit holiday season you know i've been sick you might be able to hear it but bro, i was stressed these past couple months but yeah that's why i haven't been able to get much shit done and premiere just fucked me in the ass dry with deleting my shit so there's that okay back to the video <gasps> we'll see how long that lasts because me keeping up with two jobs is gonna probably be the death of me i'm gonna be doing early mornings for my new job too i'm talking like three four five six in the a.m i'm already up at that time so it doesn't really affect me but the fact that i'm gonna be working at that point in time and then onward it's oh i'm gonna be tired as hell Alrighty, so real quick of course i want to go on ahead and share two days fragrance combo of the day pretty much the shower products that i use i use this as my base after base clean i went in with my castile soap and then i went in with this as like my moisturizing fragrance this is the waikiki beach coconut moisturizing body wash this has notes of tropical white coconut saltwater breezes and some bleached woods you know i thought i got tired of this and then it came back and then it went on sale and suddenly i wanted it again crazy how that works <laughs> And then I use a scrub in between my two different washes. So I'll do like my face cleans and then I'll scrub and then I'll finish up with my main fragrance body wash, you know. I ended up using the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in Brown Sugar and Coke. Coconut butter, coconut butter, that's what it is. I love this scrub to death. This smells amazing. Definitely this one and the rice milk one are the absolute best ones. I love those fragrances so, so, so much. And then for my actual fragrance body wash, I use this Method Body Body Wash in the coconut and rice milk one. This one is the best one, okay? It's simply just facts. The fragrance on this bad boy is to die for. Oh my God, I could inhale this for days. Oh my God. It's so good. And it's not like an overpowering kind of coconut fragrance at all. It has a strong projection of the fragrance, but it's still a light fragrance. It kind of, it's definitely a milky kind of soft fragrance. It's not like coconut water or coconut cream or anything like that. It's just very simple, plain coconut milk type of a fragrance. Oh my God, this is my crack. It smells so good. So my lotions are going to be this Love Beauty and Planet. Also, I'm going to Takuma Butter and Vanilla and the lotion. This is in my product 
project use it up. I'm taken through it somehow. I don't use this very often because I'm not starting to like the formulation as much as I once did. I don't know if it's because it's getting a little bit older so it's kind of changed up the formula a little bit. It's kind of actually getting a little bit sticky on my skin but for the most part it doesn't last very long so but I have been noticing that a little bit but I still like it nonetheless. This is a really good fragrance. It's very soft like a skin fragrance you know. It smells sweet but not at all like overpowering. It's just like a sweet close to the skin kind of fragrance so. And then the actual body cream that I use today is going to be this old old boy right here. This is the Wild Madagascar Vanilla and the Body Cream. I wonder when this is from. This is from 2019 so this is old old. This has notes of Madagascar Vanilla Accord, African Pear, Wild Jasmine, and White Sandalwood. This I don't know what Madagascar Vanilla necessarily smells like but because it has vanilla I kind of expected like you know like vanilla vanilla. No, this this packs a punch, bro. This is some strong floral sandalwood. It's not very sweet. It's like a floral sweet, you know? This was a really strong, long-lasting body cream on me. Even after I would spray all these bag on sprays, like literally drench myself in these, this is what stood out the most. This is what I kept smelling even after the fragrances have like dissipated on my clothes and skin. This came through and I didn't even use a lot at all. This is crazy. I am almost done with it. It is in my project use it up. I'm hoping to finally use this up fully today. I cannot wait to get this out of my collection because with using it, I have felt a little bit of the formulation, you know, kind of uh, not doing its best, you know, like it's getting old and you can tell, so. Yeah, there is that. And then the three mists that I use, the first one I'm gonna show you is gonna be Frosty Coconut Snowball. This is definitely the most tame. <laughs> fragrance in this. This has notes of Frosted Coconut, North Pole Vanilla, Winter Freesia, Snow Kissed Woods, and Spun Sugar. This is from last year, 2021. Frosted Coconut Snowball is pretty good. It's definitely a good fragrance, but I have to kind of be in the mood for it. But it smells like a winter coconut, pretty much. And then this is actually an empty. I used this up today. Love that. That is my second empty of August. Damn, this shit even worse than I thought. This is from the beginning of August, bro. What the fuck? And then this is an old ass bottle as well. This is at the beach. And and this packaging, y'all, this is some old, like, OG shit. Out of all the fragrances I could have gotten in this bottle, I got this. Yeah, I'm mad at myself. This is also in my project Use It Up. I am using to fully finish this up because I am sick and tired of this fragrance, man. I am so sick and tired of this fragrance existing in my collection. I want it out. There's no notes on here, obviously. Can't even see them. I know this has a frangipani. I don't know how to pronounce that word. This fragrance, it's a very strong, like, white, floral, salty, barely coconut kind of fragrance. It's very heavy on those florals and the saltiness of it. It feels like you're on some beachy sands kind of as the name refers to i'm not a big fan of this fragrance at all and i'm a big fan of coconut fragrances that's definitely one of my top fragrances ever ever that was the first fragrance that got me into fragrance so of course i have so much love for coconut but something about at the beach just makes me sick I don't like it. And then the final spray that I'm using, which is also in my project Use It Up, I am hoping to get through this sometime soon. This is Bronzed Coconut from Pink. This has Tissa Coconut and Dreamy Sunbeams. I hate their notes. <laughs> if, you, if you're new here, hi. I don't like how they describe their notes because I think it's dumb. This is a very coconut forward, toasty coconut forward kind of fragrance with like a sunscreen background. Maybe not even background. That's like the whole damn fragrance with the initial burst of toasty coconut. Yeah, that's more accurate. I'm kind of tired with all of these sprays. So that's why I decided to, you know, use them up and get them out of my collection because they will not be missed once they're gone. Maybe except for frosted coconut snowball. This one's my favorite out of the other two. That was today's fragrance combo of the day so without further ado let's go on ahead and get into this very girthy empties video that is three months worth of empty products let's go on ahead and get into maze empties oh i put a note in here i don't even that's right i don't even remember this this is stuff that i didn't have any like evidence that I used it. So I wrote it down because I knew for sure I would have forgotten it. The first thing on this list is Buff City Soap Bar Soap in the fragrance Good Morning Sunshine. Um, I think I remember that one. It was just okay. It wasn't all that. It wasn't a fragrance that I would really get again. But I do like their bar soap. And then the Buff City Soap Pink Sugar Bar Soap. I much preferred that fragrance. That one smelled really, really good. And then I of course used up a Dove Sensitive Bar Soap. That was before I think I switched over to using Castile Soap. But that is everything for that list. So let me go on ahead and show y'all the actual 
empties that I have to show you guys. So the first item is going to be this Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. It's a very everyday, bare minimum facial cleanser kind of deal. If I'm not dealing with too much acne or anything, then this was the bad boy to you. It did its job, you know, it wasn't anything that was like, wow, you need this. But it is definitely still a really good cleanser, you know? Like, you can't get wrong with Cetaphil. It's a good bare minimum kind of soap, you know what I mean? And then, this big old bottle is a Tresemme shampoo or conditioner. I'm not sure. I think it was a shampoo. I don't even know what version of shampoo it was, but I love Tresemme. This is the hair brand that I used growing up. Tresemme, Aussie, and then Garnier Honey. Those are, like, the ones that I kind of always rotate in between when I'm not sure what to get for my hair so yeah I of course enjoy trust me a lot and then the next empty is going to be this antibacterial moisturizing hand sanitizer in mahogany teakwood from Bath and Body Works this was so good I thoroughly enjoyed this man Ugh. the moisturizing hand sanitizers are actually really really nice I'm planning to get a couple more here soon I definitely want to get the new blackberries and basil possibly even sweater weather and then a sweet cinnamon pumpkin oh sweet cinnamon pumpkin and the hand sanitizer is so good I might as well just get all of them at this point because I really love them but Yes, Mahogany Teakwood was a good fragrance. I did not get tired this surprisingly. It smelled so good. I loved it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Wicked again. And then, ooh, this is old. This is another product from Bath & Body Works, but this is actually in the hand soap. This is Fresh Strawberry Tart. This is actually one of the hand soaps that was in my project Use It Up. This has notes of fresh picked strawberries, orange zest, and bergamot. It smelled really, really good. It didn't smell necessarily like a strawberry tart, but it was super fruity, super juicy. It was really good. This is from, this is from 2020. So there is that. I would get that one again. Then the next empty is going to be the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% Serum. This literally had like one use left in it before it was an empty in May. I specifically remember that for some reason. The niacinamide is really good for textured skin, especially if you have big fat pores like me. I haven't been on my skincare game as much as I should be, so I haven't obviously been noticing that, but when I was on my skincare game, there was definitely like a sufficient difference between how my skin looked. It was a lot smoother, a lot healthier looking, much more glowy. I definitely need to get back on it, and I have already actually repurchased that serum. And then the next MD is going to be Magic in the Air, this little travel size of body lotion. I got tired of this really quick. This is super old. This is from 2018. This is from 2018, man. It took me so long to finish this up. I actually really liked this lotion at first, and then within me putting it into my product to use it up, I have kind of started to hate it. It just smells like almond perfume. Mm, mm, mm. No. I'm not a big fan of that fragrance at all anymore, but I definitely did used to love it at one point. Would not get that fragrance ever again, honestly, at this point in time, because I just got tired of it very quickly and then up next is going to be this very 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 old champagne toast body cream this is from 2019 i think this is when champagne toast was first introduced so i remember this is like the oldest packaging from bath and body works as far as i know i could be wrong not sure but this is the oldest form of champagne toast that i have and this formulation of champagne toast was the one that got me hooked i used to be a champagne toast girl like through and through champagne toast was the one and only true love in my life at that point in time. Of course, ever since I very quickly increased, bloated my collection, it has obviously changed up a lot, but at some point in the game, at the beginning, I was a champagne toast girl. Yeah, and this version of champagne toast smells so much more different from champagne toast now. This has notes of pink champagne, black currant chambord, sparkling nectarine, and sugared musk i smell like i smell the black currant in there and then champagne toast now just smells like orange and berries and bubbliness i actually i smell that deeper berry note in here oh it was so good this version i kind of wish they would bring this version back because this version smells so dag on good man this one is so much more layered compared to champagne toast now and oh my god this one i think was a little bit stronger champagne toast overall is still a really good fragrance but this version was the OG. You gotta respect the OG. And then I have a whole bunch of sprays on top. The first spray I used up is Iced Pear Margarita. I've come to realize I do not like pear fragrances whatsoever, especially this one was just 
pretty much matte. It was just okay for me. It was a little bit fruity, but it had some like woodsiness in there as well too. There was a little bit of like a layered maturity in here, but it was still like a very fruity overall fragrance. It just, it just wasn't my kind of vibe whatsoever. So I very quickly threw it in my project, used it up and paired it with any other fruity fragrance and quickly got rid of it because I didn't really want it in my collection anymore. I did use it up and I did make sure to enjoy it while I had it, but I am glad that it's out. I would not get it again. And then another fragrance that I used up is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin in the Fine Fragrance Mist. No notes, but this, oh my God, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin is so good, man. Mm, sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin smelled really, really good. Super sweet, super pumpkin-y, of course, very cinnamony. So good. I would get it again, but I'm, I have Marshmallow Pumpkin left, so I don't need it. Loki, I do I want the shower gel if and when it comes back out this year. Oh, 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 oh. So this is actually an April empties. I made sure to write it on the bottle, but this is, I guess, a fragrance that I finished up after recording my April empties. This is all the way from April, and this is the In the Stars Fine Fragrance Mist. This was actually at some point in my project use it up. This was halfway done, so I wanted to get rid of it. In the Stars smells so good. Deep, sophisticated, layered unisex fragrance. You can't go wrong with this one. It's really good. Absolutely wet good again. I do already have some backups in my collection as well, too. And then the next item that I used up, I of course paired this with my Champagne Toast Body Cream. This is the Champagne Toast Mini Shower Gel. This is the newer version of Champagne Toast where it's just fruit and bubbliness, no deep berry note in there that gave it some layers. Oh yeah, oh yeah, a lot more citrusy. A lot more citrusy. But this version still just smell really, really good too. But I still, I prefer that older version. It is so nice. This is the Into the Night Fine Fragrance Mist. Ugh. Into the Night is so good. Into the Night is such a sophisticated, layered, sexy, feminine fragrance. This smells really deck on good. You can't go wrong with Into the Night. I love it so much. And then, oh, here's another Champagne Toast fragrance. I was really focused on my Champagne Toast in May. This is the Champagne Toast Fine Fragrance Mist, of course, and this very old packaging. Oh my god, it's so good. This is what Champagne Toast is, man. So good. That version was so good. I would absolutely get that one again. And then up next is going to be this Hydrating Shampoo by Generic Value Products. I used this to wash out my hair dye. I'm pretty sure around late April, early May was around the time that I actually started dyeing my hair black. And I used this up just to get rid of it because there's barely anything left in here. I would get this just for the sake of hair dyeing washes and stuff like that. So yeah, there's that. Then up next, this is another April empties actually. This is the Night Your Mother's Clean Freak Topi Topi Tap Tap Tapioca Tapioca Dry Shampoo in the fragrance Warm Sugar. This is really nice. I've had this for literally years. I don't use dry shampoo all that much because I don't know. I just don't. This took me forever because I got this years and years and years ago. I got this in high school, I'm pretty sure. But this smells really good. I haven't seen this in stores at all since I've gotten it. So I don't know if they discontinued this or what. I like the fragrance a lot. And the Night Your Mother's products are always really good. You can't go wrong with them. And then the next fine fragrance mist that I used up is, of course, Lakeside Citrus. This was the OG pack? No. Yes? I think this was the OG packaging. There's no notes on here for it, but I, it's, it's not as citrusy as like Sunwa Citrus or anything like that. It's not super citrusy. This is definitely more in the realm of fresh getaway. Subtle citrus with some like fresh notes in there. This is definitely more on the fresh side than it is citrusy fruity at all. But like this is fresh, almost aquatic in a way. Well, Lakeside, duh, of course. It's a little aquatic. It's very fresh, very aquatic. And I definitely see this being unisex because this has a bit of a masculine kind of feel there too. Mm, this smells really good. Good. I would get this again, but I don't really see myself getting it again unless I'm craving it. I was at one point absolutely in love, like infatuated with this fragrance, but ever since using it, I've kind of dwindled down on my love for it, you know? I'll be okay without it. Anyways, moving on. Jesus. Next is going to be this Prada Candy Perfume. This is in the 0.68 fluid ounce, so not even a full ounce of product. I actually bought this thinking that I loved it because I had previously smelled it and thought it smelled good, but of course it was years before I had decided to get this on a whim, and I blind bought it, and then when it arrived, I tested it out, and I did not like it nearly as much as I once thought I did, but I did make sure to use it up because it was such a tiny product. I do like the the, the look of this bottle because it is very cute says candy on the back but this i thought it would smell super caramely super sweet super gourmand like candy you know but it smells very powdery very floral uh, it just it just it was not what i was hoping so i threw it in my project use it up and got 
rid of it. My girlfriend put her little 3D printed pumpkin chocobee little tea light holder right there. He is so cute. I love him. This is going to be the next empties. It is just a pack of Q-tips. This is the 375 pack. So yes, those will those will be a continuous empties. I know they're technically not good for you, but I'm I can't deal with the thought of putting hydrogen peroxide into my ear. No, thank you. No, thank you. I can't. I can't deal with that. So, Q-tips it is. <laughs> it's fine. So then up next is going to be these sensational marshmallow crispies wax melts. This is literally the best smell from Walmart ever. Mm, they smell like Fruit Loops. It smells so good. And I have multiple backups, so I would of course get those again for sure. And then up next is going to be candle from Yankee Candle. This is the fragrance Warm Luxe Candle cashmere this is such a good fragrance i love this fragrance so much it's nice and soft but it isn't like non-existent you know oh my god it's so cozy it has like a snowflakes and cashmere kind of vibe of course because there is cashmere in it this is a nice fragrance i love this one i would get it again but i definitely need a break from it and then the next candle is going to be iced dragon fruit tea from bath and body works this has notes of tropical dragon fruit vibrant green tea lemonade sweet coconut milk so mine kind of had a weird issue where the long wick was actually like buried under the wax when I got it because I got it online and I never exchanged it. Once it burned all the way down the rest of that wick that was folded just like sprouted out. That's why it kind of looks a little bit gross. It didn't really affect the performance too much though thankfully. If you're looking for a strong fruity fragrance with a little touch of herbalness in there this is definitely the one to get because this one is powerful. This is a powerhouse on the same level as like watermelon. It is it's strong. Strong as hail. Up next is a wallflower that I don't even know the name of. I think this is Sparkling Icicles. Honestly, I've had this for so long, so I'm kind of tired of it, and I still have a whole another one. So I am looking forward to getting rid of those out of my collection and then not getting them ever again, because I kind of got a little bit tired of this fragrance. Yeah, and it kind of dudded out halfway through to where I couldn't smell it at all, unless I was literally smelling the wallflower. So it wasn't really that great. Really isn't worth the repurchase, even if I were to do so anyway. Then then up next is going to be a makeup product. This is the Honey Do Me Up Primer from NYX. This is such a really nice primer. If you have dry skin, this is the one to get. This one is really, really good. It gives you a little glow. I really, really love that primer. I would definitely absolutely get it again, but it is a little expensive. Like, it's like $15. This is a little sample size of the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. This actually felt really nice considering that I don't like gel moisturizers a lot. This was, this is actually really nice. I kind of actually enjoyed it. I would probably get it maybe in the full size, but there's definitely some other moisturizers that I would get before getting that one from that brand. Like that honey one, I would definitely, oh yeah, I would definitely get that honey one before I would get that one, but that one was nice. And up next is going to be this Old Spice Bare Glove Aluminum free deodorant. I use men's deodorant, so this is the deodorant that I use consistently. Yeah, would get again. I love Old Spice. Old Spice is good. This smelled, this smelled good. It has like a candy element in there in the background. It's a little bit weird, but it smells good still. <laughs> Up next is going to be this Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy in the gel formulation from Bath & Body Works. It has notes of sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. I much prefer their gel hand soaps because they do not dry my hands out nearly as as much as the foaming ones do but this fragrance was really really good i enjoyed this straight up smell like candy really really good would absolutely get this again i love to do fruity candy this fragrance is bomb and then i just have four empty candles for the last of may and i will go on ahead and show you guys those this one is going to be vanilla pumpkin marshmallow in the three wick candle from last year i done already cleaned out the jar this has notes of tahitian vanilla pumpkin spice homemade marshmallow with a drizzled caramel mm, this is a really nice just marshmallow with a hint of pumpkin kind of fragrance it smelled really really sweet but my only issue with this was it was super super light not have a very strong presence whatsoever but if you are more into the background candles this is definitely one that you would probably want to get i would get it again but for me i wish it was a little bit stronger and then the next candle that i used up is sprinkled birthday cake from bath and body works i love this fragrance so much man this is such a good candle i love this one to death this is one of my absolute favorites i love this one so much this has rainbow sprinkles whipped vanilla frosting and fluffy cake 
cake. I kind of wish this is what vanilla confetti sparkle slash confetti cake pop smelled like. I love confetti cake pop, but there is like a slight artificial note in there that I don't love. However, this smells like real authentic uncooked cake and it is so good. Just like cake batter. I love this one. I already have two backups of this, but whenever I get the chance, I would definitely pick up so many more. Yeah, I, I love this one. Love this one to death. This is one of my absolute favorites. So, and then up next, I used up these strawberry wax melts, but I still have the wax melt in this candle. I guess that's just what is left of it. It lost its fragrance. I'm pretty sure that's why I kind of like kept onto it to make sure that I mention it in this empties, but this was the jar I put it in. By the way, they need to bring back this glazed cinnamon bun fragrance. This was really good. It says cinnamon sugar bun, orange zest, vanilla glaze. The fragrance for the wax melt in here was like some sort of strawberry fragrance. It was like a strawberry seltzer kind of fragrance from Walmart. I can't remember exactly what the brand or the fragrance was, but it lasted like two days and then it completely disappeared. But not get that specific fragrance again. I can't even remember what it is though, though. So. But then up next is going to be the positive sweet three wick candle from Bath and Body Works. This came out during Valentine's Day and this was actually a really good candle. I enjoyed it. This is actually the fragrance dark chocolate truffles. I don't think I mentioned that. Let's take a look at the packaging. That is so cute. That is so cute. I love it. It says notes of rich chocolate, gooey butterscotch, and candy cherry. This smelled really daggone good. It smelled like a freshly opened box of chocolates, like one of those fancy variety packs that are available during Valentine's Day. And for me, I got the perfect portions of the chocolate and the butterscotch and the cherry. Anything was soft, it was the cherry. The cherry was definitely the softest note in here, but there was still a hint of it to where it was detectable, and I really enjoyed it. Definitely gave it a little bit of, a, you know, just a twist to it. Mm, but it is so good. This was a really good candle. I enjoyed this fragrance a lot. This was a little bit on the lighter side. It wasn't overpowering or strong at all, but it did still have its presence when it was burning. I did actually have a backup of this, but I ended up exchanging it for something else. I don't know why I did that. I am so dumb because I would definitely pick this up again because it smells so good. Even, even after it's all the way been burned down. Mm, it still smells really good. So that was it for the month of May. Let us now go on ahead and get into June. So for the month of June, there is nothing that I ended up writing down on here. So everything should be in this box. So first up, this is actually a soap that was in my Project Use It Up. I'm very glad to see it out of my collection, although I did enjoy it. This is the Orange Sunrise Gentle Gel Hand Soap. This has notes of sweet orange, juicy peach, and sugar cane. This is all the way from 2020. This collection was nice while it was around. This straight up smells like the base mandarin note of Island Margarita. Unless it's literally just straight up a repackage of Island Margarita because it smells very eerily similar to Mar Island Margarita. But I enjoyed it. It smelled good. Nice and orangey, nice and fresh and citrusy. I much prefer citrusy fragrances when it comes to like my hands. Anywhere else on my body, I'm not a fan of citrus, but for the hands, I'll put up with it. <laughs> then another hand soap in that exact same collection is going to be Malibu Sunset. This has sparkling bergamot, sugared mangoes, and sun-drenched sandalwood. This is also as well from 2020 because it's from the same collection. This one was actually pretty nice. It didn't smell as fruity as you might expect. It was very heavy on the sandalwood, but even then it didn't smell very woodsy. If anything, this smelled incredibly powdery. Very powdery, crisp, and clean is how I would describe this fragrance. Not fruity, not woodsy at all, but I actually really, really enjoyed this because it is so fresh and crisp and powdery. I really actually like this one a lot. I think that was my favorite from the line. Up and next, I finished up a full set of my watermelon lemonade. This was in my project, use it up for the longest time. Oh my God, very tired of this fragrance. Pretty soon after getting it, that's why I threw it into my project, use it up to get it out of my collection. This has notes of watermelon ice, sparkling water, and sugared lemon and the body cream as well as the shower gel and the fine fragrance mist i was actually a big fan of this packaging for that collection i thought it was really cute that's literally what sucked me into getting this fragrance because at the time i was very infatuated with green and that shower gel just looks so beautiful with the green gel it it sucked me in bro so i very badly wanted it for the fact that it was so pretty since this is a fragrance that comes back every single year for sauce i'm not really worried about never having it again i'm fine with without it for a good while because I am 
sick of it <laughs> to be honest then this is actually technically not an empty more of a transfer the empty is going to be this aromatherapy eucalyptus and spearmint sugar scrub from bath and body works the reason why i transferred it into a completely different jar was because i don't know why but this jar literally kept leaking and leaking no matter how much i wiped off the rim and the top and everything made sure it was sealed closed as tight as heck it still leaked like i would pick it up and there would be a ring of oil from the scrub on whatever surface that i picked it up from and it was so irritating so i got fed up and then i transferred it into this tree hut jar this is a much better much better jar for the scrub because it actually has a lot more room whereas this was at the top top i've only used this scrub a little bit but this is the strongest scrub i've ever used this is straight up big chunks of sugar crystals for a scrub this is even more abrasive than tree hut up next is going to be this garnier hope lens repair and conditioner and honey treasures this is my go-to this is actually the go-to i don't get tired of this one very very often and if i do then i do of course switch it up. but this one i love this one so much it smells amazing so good so good love that one to death then up next is going to be this aromatherapy restful moon hello mist and patchouli sandalwood and vanilla this is from last year i actually got this for sass for 75 percent off and i didn't enjoy it too much when i bought it i kind of just bought it on a whim because it was 75 percent off but i actually ended up using it on my bed sheets and i really actually enjoyed it a lot for my bed sheets i would actually give this again strictly for my bed sheets when I get it really for like my body or anything but this actually smelled really really good I really thoroughly enjoyed this up next is going to be my papaya paradise cove in the body cream this is also super super old this has notes of fresh papaya starfruit water honeysuckle passion flower and amber this is from 2019 this is actually a really really good fruity fragrance this just smells like the epitome of clean girl during the summer I don't know I just think of like a sporty summer girl every time I smell this fragrance but it smells like a whole bunch of fresh cut fruit dunked into some water with a slight 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 like summer sunscreen note or something I don't know this literally just smells like summer this is really really good I love this fragrance so dag on much mm. it was so so good and this is strong too this is strong on me this projected very 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 well I'm pretty sure yep I finished the fine fragrance mist in that same fragrance as well too. I loved this fragrance so much absolutely would get that again that whole line is really good i actually then up next i finished this vanilla buttercream hand cream this is the older packaging in it i was trying to there we go there's the little reflecties i'm pretty sure this is a repackage of vanilla be noel because it smells just like it but i'm not complaining i like the smell of vanilla be noel if it's done right there's something about it that i don't like like for the texture or something i don't know quite exactly i I did finish it up then up and next i finished a body cream in pure wonder i cut her open and i got the last scoopage of her out it's a super old so it is a little bit dusty on there but i got every last little scoop out of here i love pure wonder as y'all probably already know at this point in time pure wonder is bay as hell i love pure wonder so much this is my absolute favorite fragrance from bath and body works at the moment this has a notes of arstres star jasmine and warm my amber she's bay she's bay i have multiple backups of her already and i do plan on getting plenty 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 more backups of her as well when the time calls for it i also finished a fun I also finished Define Fragrance Mist in the exact same fragrance as well, too. I love Pure Wonder, so dag on much, y'all. It is ridiculous, okay? Then up next, I finished Winterberry Wonder in the Fine Fragrance Mist from 2020, I think. This has notes of Ruby Frost, Winterberry, Sparkling, Cranberry, and Crystal Vanilla. At first, I was a really big fan of this fragrance, but right at like the three-fourths point, I kind of got really tired of it because it's just really not all that. It smells super similar to A Thousand Christmas Wishes, I'm just a bit of of like the softer slightly lighter younger sister of that fragrance it was just okay it smelled nice but it's like i could live without it you know i don't see myself getting it again anytime soon unless i for some reason fall deeply in love with it but i don't see that happening <laughs> and then up next is actually my girlfriend's empty and this is the body shop satsuma shower gel this is a big bodacious bottle okay this is 
is 25.3 fluid ounces. This smelled really, really good. Just smells like a mimosa. It was really good. I used it a couple times. It smelled really good, made her smell really good, and she loves it. That's actually her second bottle that she's gone through. That's like her favorite that she has right now. So yeah, there is that. And then, oh, here is the Pure Wonder shower gel that I was using in tandem with the mist and the body cream. Then up next, I used up this hand soap. This is Mango Mai Tai. This has a mango nectar, sun-kissed grapefruit, and sugar cane. This one is from 2020. Oh my god, I forgot how much I love Mango Mai Tai, specifically in like home care. It just smells so daggone good. Like the body care smells good, but it smells even better in the candles as well as the hand soap. It was just so good. Chef's kiss. Very juicy mango fragrance. Super, super delicious. I loved it. And then up next, I used up this off-brand baby oil from Target. I'm guessing Comforts is the name of the brand. This was the baby oil. Kind of did its thing. That was that. Nothing really special. It was really cheap. That's why I got it. So yeah, I would probably get it again if I needed. But right now, I'm really loving my Dr. Teal's body oils. Those are really good. And then I do have a couple of hand sanitizers that I used up. So the first one I'm going to show y'all is going to be this one. This is Happy... No, it's Holiday Mistletoe. This one is really good. You would think this would be like a super fresh balsamy kind of fragrance, but no, this is actually very fruity. I actually really enjoy this. I got a whole bunch of these when they went on sale last sass. Mm. There's a hint of that like green note in there, but it's overall very fruity. I love it. I love it. That one was really good. And then up next, Watermelon Lemonade is another one that I finished up. A classic. And then Champagne Toast is another one that I finished. Another classic. You can't go wrong with that one. And then the last one is Tutti Fruity Candy. That one was really, really good. That one was my favorite out of the bunch. And then I used this Tree Hut Sugar Face Scrub. I did not use this on my face. I am an advocate for not using physical cool exfoliators on your face. If you're going to use an exfoliator on your face, make sure you use a chemical one. The chemical exfoliants are where it's at. Physical exfoliants for the face are a big no-no, okay? I did not use this on my face. I actually used this on my feet. This was really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed this fragrance. This is the Blueberry Turmeric with AHA. This was really good. It smelled um Amazing, very juicy blueberry kind of fragrance. Straight up smells like just blueberry from at the Mighty Works. Very tart, juicy blueberry. It was really good. I enjoyed it. I would get this again. Up next, I did end up using a I did end up using this stain pen from Tide. I love these. These are very convenient if you run into an issue while you're out in public. Boop boop boop, it's gone. There was actually this one time I somehow got a really big dirt stain. And so I just sat there soaking. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the majority of what that went to was that big use it was a big ass stain on my ankle so got this bitch Boop, 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 all over the place and it was gone. It was literally gone after it dried, so shit's crazy. Shit's amazing. Then up next, I used up this e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. This is specifically a coconut fragrance. It's in the clear shade, even though it's a spray. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but this did have a coconut fragrance to it. I actually really enjoyed this. It wasn't anything special from what I remember, but I do actually like remember enjoying it a lot while I had it. Up and next, I used up this Neutrogena Travel Size Makeup Wipes. I strictly had these for emergencies in my purse because you never know if you run into a makeup problem while you're away from your makeup so I always carry these just in case it took me a long ass time to get through these because I didn't even use them that often I would get these again but it would take me forever to use them <laughs> so up uh, next I did end up using this fun fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works this is the Bora Bora Citrus Surf this is pretty much sun washed, sun washed citrus but better and sweeter much more candy like if sun washed citrus and then tutti frutti candy had a baby this is what this fragrance would be so i did actually kind of enjoy this a lot more than sun washed citrus but i don't think i would get this again unless i'm having a specific craving for it and then this is actually the fragrance or the shower gel that i would use in conjunction with fine fragrance mist that i just showed y'all and that would be cheeky bay island margarita this has notes of sweet mandarin island mango and sea salt of course this is just island margarita but in the body care i got tired of this very quickly to be honest y'all <laughs> like i'm not a big fan of island margarita it's just so old of a fragrance like it's not anything new whatsoever i'm kind of just bored with it it's just pretty basic. I just don't enjoy it. This is actually from a small business. This is from Southern Sky Beauty Sky with an E at the end. This is the Blue Sugar and Green Apple Dual Scented Creamy Body Wash. I 
thoroughly enjoyed this a lot. This had a blue and green shower gel. They were literally split in half and it looked really, really cute. It really caught my attention and it smelled really, really good. Considering I'm not a big fan of apple fragrances, I actually thoroughly enjoyed this. This smelled straight up like sour green apple candy with just an extra like cotton candy kind of fragrance added in there because of the blue sugar. It smelled super, super sweet and sugary. It was really good. I enjoyed this, man. Oh my God. And even after it's been sitting in here for a little bit, it still smells really really good i will say i don't like the bottle too much because it was at times a little bit hard to squeeze but that is like the only beef that i have with this product other than that it performed perfectly and then the next product is going to be this pink spray this is the vacay all a day vanilla orchid and sandalwood this is old old okay i don't even know how you could tell oh wait is this the same way to read products like how you would bath and body works products because of this is a way that you do read it this is from 2018 then oh my god this one literally amazing out of all the old pink sprays that i have this one was my favorite i thoroughly enjoyed this one so 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 much this one it was a compliment getter it smelled amazing i have had my friends be like oh my god this was so good what is that i need it i'm pretty sure i got this on sale for one of their semi-annual sales way 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 long ago oh my god I wish they would bring this one back because I literally love this one so, so, so much. Would absolutely get this one again. I can only imagine the prices on Mercari though. And then the final product for June is going to be a Goose Creek 3 Wick Candle. And it is the good old Vanilla Bean Cake Pop. I love the color scheme that they chose for this. It's so cute. And sadly, there is no notes like on the packaging. But my god, this is the best gourmand vanilla fragrance I have smelled other than the, the sprinkled birthday cake that candle and then this candle are the best vanillas i have ever used oh my god i will say this one is a little bit stronger than the bath and body works one though i'm not gonna lie to you guys and this has like an underlying chocolate note in here because it is so creamy it is so creamy and rich to the point to where there has to be chocolate in here or something there's a hidden chocolate note in here because i kind of i smell it a little hint of it it is so good i love this one so 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 much i would absolutely for sure get it again and goose creek has plenty of sales all the time for a really good price point so yeah i would definitely snatch this up oh this is this is crack too oh my god i love it love that one then for the month of july all i have is this small little bag full of stuff i do have one of these notes on here that does say i have some things that i was not able to put in here i have a travel size huggies white that I used up I I threw those away anyway the next item that I used up is this box of q-tips this is also the 375 size use those bad boys up and then I used up my conditioner from the native brand this is the baked by Melissa tie-dye vanilla cupcake fragrance this straight up smelled like cupcake frosting this smelled amazing in the daggone shower oh my god God, bro, this made me hungry while I was showering, okay? This smelled and whenever I wore any kind of gourmand fragrance, I automatically brought this with me to just enhance that gourmand fragrance. It was so good. I will say, however, I am not a big fan of the formula, how it performs on my hair. But for right now, I don't really see myself getting the native conditioner specifically. I would definitely try out the shampoos and see where that gets me. But right now, I don't really want to get the native hair products. And then this is old, old, y'all. This is probably the the oldest product I have in my collection. Now, this is the Lovely Dreamer in the body cream. I love the packaging for this. It's a little gross now that I pulled this part off. This packaging was really, really pretty. It reminds me of the Pastel Skies collection. This fragrance was pretty all right. At first I was in love with it, but then I got a little bit bored of it. This has a note of fluffy musk, clean woods, white iris, and fresh bergamot. This is a very just clean clean musky floral fragrance now some people have said that this kind of smells like pepper and there was times where i definitely was able to smell that and that's the times that i didn't really enjoy this fragrance but other than that i was okay with it but this surprise this didn't turn at all considering this is from 2018 this is a very old body cream and it was like still in perfect condition while i was using it yeah that is the end of her this is a very 
rare collectible fragrance. I'm kind of sad to let it go, but at the same time, I'm also not for the simple fact that I didn't enjoy the fragrance all that much. Up next, I did use up this champagne toast antibacterial hand sanitizer in the 7.6 fluid ounce. I love this size hand sanitizer. It's great for the desk, especially since all I ever do is sit at my desk while I'm not working and stuff. So in champagne toast, you can't go wrong with champagne toast. I literally enjoyed every single pop while I was even seeing it, but literally get that again and again and again. Love it so much. Then up next, oh, this one was so good. This is the cherry vanilla float hand soap. And this has notes of juicy cherries, shaved coconut, and vanilla cream. This smelled absolutely amazing. It smelled so good. My girlfriend really, really enjoyed this fragrance as well. I hope they bring this back because it smelled so good. Loved it so much. I think this is from, this is from 2020. And then up next, I finally was able to use up a room spray. This is in the fragrance strawberry pound cake. You can't go wrong with strawberry pound cake, of course. Smelled amazing. The room sprays are very, very strong for the short amount of time that they last for. They can last anywhere between like 30 minutes to an hour after initial spray. So the strawberry pound cake lasted a good, a good full on like 45 minutes for me. Really enjoyed strawberry pound cake. I'm not a big fan of the room sprays though. Definitely I'm more of a candle girl than I am a room spray girl, but I do enjoy the very small collection of room sprays that I have. Up next, I actually used up this vanilla bean Noel. I figured some that I got during SAS last year. This has notes of fresh vanilla bean, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, and snow kissed musk. I actually really enjoyed last year's version considering it is a little bit on the lighter side. Mm. But this paired with Bonfire Bash was really, really, really good. That's actually what I ended up doing most of the time whenever I would wear this. I would always wear Bonfire Bash just to have those two mixed together and have Bonfire Bash just enhance the vanilla the vanilla bean oil. Then I finally finished my gumdrop that be in the mist from pink. It says pink gumdrops in dance parties. I, I can't get over the damn names, bro. But this smells like, there was a certain way that I described this that I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, like that's perfectly half described, but I can't remember how I described it. But it's super fruity, borderline smells like some sort of bubble gum that has the powder on it, but not bubble gum fragranced. Still like gummy candy with a powder element on there. It smelled good, but this had no lasting power or strength to it at all all so i would not get that again then up next i finished up mango mai tai and the body cream the first time i've actually used the body cream before a uh, mist because here's my mist now literally one use there's nothing left in there. Very proud of myself. I've been getting back into cutting up my body creams once again. I've been lazy, but I'm trying not to be lazy anymore with it. But there is that mango mate smells. Oh my God, so good. And then look, I actually finished up a Goose Creek shower gel. This is the vanilla bean fragrance. This has vanilla bean, buttercream icing, and marshmallows. Now I will say, I literally immediately threw this into my car to use it up after getting it because I ended up hating this fragrance. I don't know why, but this smells like stale, old, freezer burned waffle cones and not vanilla bean whatsoever in any sense. This does not smell like anything good. I did not like this fragrance whatsoever. It just, no, smelled like, smelled like very gross, old, nasty waffle cones that have been in the freezer for far too long. So I don't recommend this at all. I did enjoy the performance of it. It felt really nice on the skin. I paired this with literally any other gourmand vanilla kind of fragrance that I had just for the sake of using this up. I would not get this fragrance again, but I do like Goose Creek shower gels. So yeah, there is that. And then up and next, I got this Cotton Candy Skies and the hand soap. This is another hand soap that was in my project Use It Up and it is now fully used up. This has notes of sun sweetened orange, strawberry sugar, and vanilla bean. This is also from 2020. This smelled really good. I would say this is a little bit more. This is, this definitely has like a orange cotton candy vibe like it's super sugary light and fluffy but there's a smidge of orange in there and that kind of what makes it smell a little bit different than cotton candy clouds for example it smells good it smelled really good i actually held on to this for so long because this is a fragrance that they have not brought back out for a while but considering the fact that i have so much boardwalk taffy so much cotton candy clouds i literally have whipped berry meringue for some reason but for the fact that i have those i'll be okay with those and if i really crave that I could easily mix in good old snowy citrus swirl or the the orange vanilla twist from sass get a little concoction of that so i really miss it that bad but i don't i don't think i will next y'all i used up my
my good old confetti cake pop in the shower gel. I was back and forth between using this so many times because I would use it up a lot. Like I would use a very big portion of it and then I would put it up for a little bit and then that would that little cycle would repeat because I had the fear of it never coming back but then at the same time I'd be like it's just a vanilla fragrance like use it up it's okay you'll live but they actually brought it back and I got a new shower gel in that same fragrance so I am Gucci so I went on ahead and used this up this is the OG confetti cake prop from 2019 oh this has creamy cake frosting rainbow sprinkles and vanilla bean it straight up smells like cake batter with a slight like artificial vanilla note in there. I think the sprinkled birthday cake is a little bit more authentic smelling and this has a little bit more artificial smelling. Regardless, they both smell really, really good and I thoroughly enjoyed it in the shower, so. And then this is actually a product that I used a lot, the Confetti Cake Pop, because this is literally a vanilla cake fragrance. This is also from a small business. This is from the Sugar Milk Company. This is the Cookie Dough Sweet Sugar Body Scrub, specifically in the fragrance Vanilla Cake. The check mark wiped off, but they have some other options I almost got the chocolate chip one, but I just went with the vanilla cake just to keep it safe when I did place my purchase. By the way, this is glass. Love the do we love eco-friendly packaging, but this smelled straight up like some vanilla cake. It was so good. Oh my god. This smells more of like a baked cake than it does to confetti cake pop and stuff. Oh my god, but it's so 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 good. I thoroughly enjoyed this so much. The texture on this was really, really good. Absolutely would get again. I would get all fragrances. It's so good. I need to shop Sugar Milk Co. here soon whenever they open up again. I need to I need to check in with them and see when they're opening their shop next because I need to get a couple products for them. And then I actually have another room spray in here. This is the white t-shirt fragrance. I love white t-shirts. Oh, this is a really strong, crisp, clean, fresh fragrance. White t-shirt, if you know, you know. White t-shirt is a baddie. She smells very fresh and clean, minimalistic. But she's strong and I thoroughly enjoyed white t-shirts so much. Up next here is actually another Sugar Milk Company and the whip, Whipped Creamy Soap. This is the Peach Milk fragrance. This, it's not as creamy of a fragrance that you would think considering it's called peach milk but this straight up smelled like some sort of peach candy more of like a peach gummy candy it wasn't creamy or like sugary sweet at all very just sour candy kind of fragrance and i actually really enjoyed it i paired this pretty much with any other like fruity fragrance that i had this is also glass like all of their packaging pretty much is glass and i actually really enjoy that it's a little bit scary in the shower not gonna lie but if you're careful then it's then it's obviously worth it then up and next this is the body lotion from bath and body works in the fragrance champagne toast this is the og one the champagne Pink toast was so good. I loved her. Then up next, this is the Fine Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. This is the Mad About You. I can't remember the notes on here, but this is like overall a sweet floral fragrance with like a slight hint of vanilla, but it's not strong at all. It's just chilling there in the background. This actually smelled really, really good. I got I got some compliments on this. I enjoyed this, but I don't see myself getting it again anytime soon right now. I have this used up Fine Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works in Bonfire Bash. Bonfire Bash is Bay. I love her so much. Absolutely. I'm getting her again sometime soon. This has vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. This is a pretty much marshmallow fireside in the body care. Deep, rich, layered, smoky vanilla. That is what she is. So good. Bonfire bash is Bay. Bay as hell. My beloved. Okay, I need to get her again. Then I have a whole bunch of hand sanitizers. Just have four. I used up this Life is Sweet Pink Bubblegum hand sanitizer. Really, really enjoyed that one. That one was my favorite. Then I used up this snowy peach berry from Christmas. I'm not a big fan of that fragrance. I literally just used that up just to get rid of it. And then here's strawberry pound cake. You can't go wrong with strawberry pound cake. She's so good. And then here is gingham. I'm a little bit tired of gingham, not gonna lie. So I didn't enjoy this that much, but I had to get used up. So, and then I used up the strawberry pound cake shower gel. This has fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. Again, you can't go wrong with strawberry pound cake. She's one of the best out there for fragrances ever. I love strawberry pound cake so, so, so much. Mm, so good. And then the last product in this bag is going to be the shampoo to the honey conditioner that I showed you guys earlier. Exact same brand, exact same fragrance still love it to death absolutely absolutely love would get again and then the last two products that I have to show you guys are just these two three wicks that I used up the first one is going to be the strawberry cake pop from Goose Creek y'all I actually thoroughly enjoyed this at first I was kind of like bored with it because it smells exactly like strawberry pound 
cupcake from Bath and Body Works. See, I feel like I worded this weirdly because when I first got this candle, I had the uh, impression that it was not gonna be a fragrance I already have in my collection pretty much. I was hoping that I was getting an entirely new fragrance that I haven't experienced yet. That's why I was bored with it in the first place. But this is strong. Like this is a strong candle. It threw me off. It almost threw me out the room of how strong it was. And I burned it pretty much almost all the way down because you can see the daggone bases of the wicks right there. Pretty good clean burn for the most part. However, somehow there was some heavy like sootage going on whenever I would burn my candles from Goose Creek and I trimmed my wicks every single time but I was a little bit scared of trimming them too short because the wicks were already so small from the beginning like they were always roughly that size right there no matter no matter what so it, it was a little hard to kind of deal with that but it didn't affect the performance of the candle too much other than the sooting I didn't enjoy that but other than that i really enjoyed this candle and then the last candle is from bath and body works and it is good old berry waffle cone this is actually my first time ever burning a berry waffle cone candle this has sweet summer berries golden waffle cone and creamy vanilla just straight up smells like a waffle cone with some like fresh strawberry syrup like it's syrupy in a way it's not like strawberry ice cream really like, just plain and strawberry ice cream there's like a syrup in there because it's super strong and hard in a way but you definitely get that waffle cone it was really really good wasn't super strong in my room but then again i have a really large room so there is that but other than that i enjoyed this candle so 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 much that is it for today's three months worth of empties thank you guys so much for watching the entire video if you did i really appreciate you watching this entire video and supporting me and my hooligan ass channel and with that make sure you wash your ass make sure you drink some water. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!